Okay, so let's look at how to make this uh, base here, base step different from the rest of these steps. So for that, let's uh, just duplicate this here and uh, make sure you don't uh, move it. And we can remove uh, the array and then uh, the curve as well. And then we can come in and uh, make it uh, the shape we want. So to make it rounded like this, we just need to add a loop here and uh, move these vertices around there. And then use the bevel tool to bevel them into a curve like this. Maybe we need more vertices. Control B, then you can use the middle mouse wheel to add more vertices like that. Uh, you can also round off these corners if you want, but uh, I think this is good enough for me, so maybe we, yeah, I, th I think we also need to add, extrude these a bit, maybe also make sure this is recording, good. <coughs> make this, make sure this is rounded as well. Select this side, extrude, make sure it is also following the curve around like that. So uh, you can select uh, the array and select this as the start cap and it will be used as uh, the start step. But uh, I think, yeah, 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 that's exactly what I, I thought that uh, because this is an instance, uh, because this is an instance of this, uh, it might also add uh, this here. Uh, because this would be the, the start of the array, it might also add this uh, to the start of the array. But uh, because uh, though they are the same instances, uh, they're using different modifiers and uh, we have not applied uh, the start curve to this modifier here for this other array. So, but uh, we can use this as the end cap like that. But, uh, it needs to be rotated. So instead of using the same, we just need to rotate this. I make a duplicate, not an instance. Uh, make a duplicate and then control A X to mirror it. And then we can select that and uh, use it as the end cap. Hmm, let's see, why is it not working? Oh, oh so if you, if you mirror, you need to apply the rotation and scale for that to work. Uh, but uh, I think we need to figure out what rotation this is supposed to be. Let's just go to edit mode, just go to edit mode, rotate this until you see that uh, it matches <clears throat> the angle we want. So let's ret rotate this 90. Again, rotate this 90. So that would work. So that would be our end cap. But uh, I don't think uh, this, the end of the stair would have this curve here. It would, it would, it would need to be flat at, so that to, f at, to fit where the entrance of the door. So I don't think we need an end cap there, so let's just remove that. And I delete this as well. Yeah. Uh, that will also help us because we will only have to deal with uh, two objects when it comes to texturing. We'll, we'll be just texturing this and this. Uh, this is an instance of this, so it will take up the same textures. Uh, so let's look at uh, how to make this wall here that goes from top to bottom. So let's add a plane, rotate this 90 degrees. Uh, let's move it to this cursor, to the object, to the curve object, because we're going to be using the same co uh, curve object. And uh, we can add uh, that curve object as, as the curve modifier. We need to move this in this direction. Uh, we also need to scale it, I think in the X, Y, 
what direction is that? Yeah, in the y, in the x direction, but uh, we need more resolution here, so we can add maybe, if, let's try that many. And see how things go. Let me first make sure this is working, premiering and uh, so, yes, so you can see it's following the curve, uh, but uh, it simply doesn't have enough resolution. So let's move, let's move it in the, move it in the, move, okay, move in the X direction. And you can turn on uh, those that to and you can just move these control points to match uh, uh, the curve or if you're lazy like me uh, what I think what I thought of is uh, because this is using this an array modifier uh, maybe we could just select a face like this uh, hit P, uh, shift D to duplicate it, and then P uh, to, uh, to convert it into its own object with its own array. So this, and um, we can remove this uh, cup. Maybe also move it in the Y direction to this side. I haven't tried this out, but uh, I think it might work. So if uh, we need this to be one, and uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. So if we grab this, it's not exactly working as I thought it would, but uh, if we select this, okay, select this vertex, let me first turn off these, this vertex and this hit J. You can see uh, this line is now following uh, the curve uh, directly as we want it. And uh, we just need to increase uh, the count here. Oh, okay, so we have a difference here. So we, let's just keep it at uh, 11 like that so that it matches <coughs> the and so we can also move it in the, the direction and move it in the Y as well so what we we are aiming for is to get that line uh, that follows that curve uh, as the stairs are doing and uh, then after that, we can then apply uh, those two. And uh, now we can, uh, you can see now what we are remaining with is this mesh uh, that follows the curve of the stairs. And now uh, this here are still separate objects, so separate meshes. So we need to remove doubles so that it's one uh, vertex. And then we can now select, let's select this loop. And then select the inverse of that and delete those vertices. Now we are remaining with one, one line that goes around uh, the stairs. Now we can extrude this in the Z direction. And voila, we have uh, that. So we just need to make it cover Moments. 